Esri and Autodesk have entered into a new partnership, and that partnership has promoted more data collaboration and sharing between the Esri platform and the Autodesk platform. And data is the center of this collaboration. We're talking about a building information model being the standard for design and construction and engineering. Now that this partnership between Autodesk and Esri has been developed, being able to take a building information model and read it directly inside a GIS, giving it geographic context, makes this much more valuable. Let's have a look at a subset of an urban area now in this BIM that's being rendered in 3D. We can secure, securely share this information with others through a web scene, do scenario-based modeling, and then be able to visualize these things as they may appear in real life. Let's navigate now to a new terminal at the airport that's being built in Houston. What you're going to see is a building information model rendered in geographic context with some very complex data layers all rendered inside a web scene. We can zoom in now and get a closer look at some of the details associated with this information model. The construction is actually under, being undergoing right now, and you can access information about the building as it's being designed and constructed in real time. Let's navigate inside. So the building information model has the same level of detail on the outside as it does as the inside. We can look at information associated with the building, like interior signage that comes direct from the Revit model, and even floor assets, as well as the actual floor itself. Now, floors are really important in BIM when they make their way into an indoor information model. Let's look at this new terminal construction and you'll see the data layers as I turn them on and off to give you a better understanding of how building information models in AutoCAD are designed based on floors. We'll zoom into this area of the terminal and let's turn on and off other floor layers and you'll start to see the level of detail based on floors. This is the first floor. You can navigate your way through the second, third, and fourth, and even rooftop levels of this building. All those levels of detail make their way from the BIM into CAD into ArcGIS Endors. Now ArcGIS Endors is a relatively new product that Esri offers that allows you to manage your workplace. Because so much of what we do at airports happens in, in the interior space, this model allows you to really improve your collaboration and make you more productive. It also boosts safety and security, and it just allows you to really connect your interior space to each other. Now, how does it work? You build your indoor mapping from your Revit model in CAD, and you enable indoor wayfinding, which then also can connect to your indoor positioning system, which allows you to do location tracking like you see here, this individual is connected to Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and GPS on their mobile device, which enables the blue dot, which now allows them to navigate from one place to another in the interior and exterior space. The indoors comes in three separate flavors. You're seeing here the kiosk mode, which can be positioned at an airport as it is here. And then you've got these three major key functions, be able to explore the places that you find favorites or directions. This is the web version. It's a secure web browser that you could then share internally with credentials to other users inside the organization. And then you've got the mobile app. Let's take a quick look at some of the functionality built into the kiosk mode. Of course, the, the most core function is where, how do I get from one place to another? If I'm located here and I want to go to, say, this particular atrium, maybe you want to see a seminar, I could use the app to quickly generate a route, which would tell me the distance and time it might take, and then the mode of travel. Once all that's been generated, the employee could easily print that information if they're not clear on how to get from one place to another and take that with them. They could also share that with others. In the mobile or web app, 
you're going to see similar functionality. We're going to just turn on and off floors and then maybe zoom in. This would be important for asset managers or facility managers who want to look at information about specific spaces. In this case, we're going to look at this and you can see square footage, the name and the auditorium, and even be able to link things like calendar events to specific locations at the airport. One of the other key functionalities with this would be the ability then to put other places of interest, things that are specific to your airport directly on the map, like safety and security, or your retail services like restaurants, or your lease space. And then again, you can see detailed information about that. Or if you wanted to include many more places of interest, things like the location of all your parking garages and your parking spaces, any other places at the airport that you want to map, you can include in your indoor information model. For first responders who maybe need to go and respond to an incident that's occurring at a place at the airport, say they need to access this gate and how do I get from where I am to that gate? I need to get directions. You can use the same sort of functionality first responders can to go from their location to that gate and it will give you a clear, concise location of where you are and how to get there. Also, if you're limited based on your privileges, rights through secure areas, you could also limit those routes so that someone could or could not gain access to it. For 311 and work orders, routinely airports are required to do inspections. And a supervisor discovered that this particular fire extinguisher needed to have its quarterly inspection done. So using this application, they could then real quickly send an email to the person who is responsible for these quarterly inspections. In this case, we're going to send an email to Rich Simpson, who goes out and does those quarterly checks. And these are auto-populated now. And these are the links to the web map and then the mobile application are sent directly to Rich through this email. I click send, and then they would receive it in their inbox. And once they receive it in the inbox, then they're able to open up a mobile app, and navigate to that location, and see details about that fire extinguisher. Then be able to open up a related survey and quickly collect information about that survey. What is it? It's a fire extinguisher. He's performing a quarterly check. Enter in the date and the time. Quickly take a picture and put his name in for tracking, sign it, and then send it. It's that fast and easy. And again, leveraging the indoor positioning system at the airport, you can then collect information, anonymous information, about clusters of people for lease space. This is a map that shows lease rates at a, at a retail space. You can see these things divided by high and low rent. And if you were to overlay the density of people who visited through history, those areas you could see there are clusters where more people aggregated which might dictate higher lease rates. Another great value for ArcGIS indoors.